Games. Uh, um, double down review here. Reviewing Asmus Toys Gandalf. He's a little late to the party. A wizard is never late. But a wizard is never late. Oh, look at that base. Yep, this base was uh, part of the um, pre-order exclusive. So you got the Bridge of Khazad Doom base. Uh, otherwise, he comes with just a standard uh, figure base, similar to uh, Hot Toys. You just take the peg out, put it right in here. That's cool. Yeah, <clears throat> but I thought that this was a really, really neat base and a really cool way to display him, if you have a shelf that's big enough to allow it. Yeah. Uh, once again, uh, Asmus Toys doing the uh, collector card on the inside. They only made 1,500 of these guys. Um, pros and cons on this figure. I really, really like this figure. I love the amount of detail. Um, I like how, you know, Glamdring is uh, made of metal. Uh, they gave you plenty of options how you wanted to display Gandalf um, with all of his different uh, his different staffs they have from the Hobbit to the Fellowship to when they're in the mines of Moria and he has the crystal in his staff. Was the crystal staff light up? No. Okay. Uh, this is one of the earlier um, figures that Asmus did. This is kind of I think like this is like their turning point. Like they got I think this Gandalf sold out during pre-order stage. Oh, okay. So I think that was kind of when they were like, all right, we're really going to step up the game here. Uh, with that being said, the cons of this figure that I don't like are his boots. I don't like his... They gave him soft, good shoes, which I, I mean, it, it's not that big of a deal when you just have him displayed. Um, if you're trying to have him do more iconic poses from the movie, um, it's a little tough because there's not a whole lot of support in there for his like ankle joints. Mm -hmm. So he kind of will teeter a little bit, so you have to have him supported. Um, otherwise, though, uh, this, I, I really like this figure. I like the amount of detail. Um, I like, um, you know, there's the dirt and the mud splatter on his, on his cape to his scarf. Um, his, his cloak is dirty. Um, just a, definitely a good amount of detail that they kept in it and um, you know even the embroidery in his belt that you can see oh, yeah. yeah really really neat we'll do close-ups of all of this yep we'll show you guys what we're talking about if you want to watch um, yeah and his hat comes off his hat comes off so you can look at Ian McKellen in all of his glory uh, he comes with his little side bag his extra scarf, the cloak, all of that stuff is removable. You just gotta remove his head and take it all off kind of layer by layer. Um, he came with a couple extra hands. He's got a pipe smoking hand, so you just slip the pipe right through. Uh, how does it go? Oh, just like that. And he just uh, sits there and can smoke his pipe, just sit and think, trying to remember the way to the mines. Um, Really cool looking figure. I was really happy with it, very impressed. Um, this was, a, I think this was my first Asmus purchase. Okay. was Gandalf the Grey. Because if you like Lord of the Rings, you don't like Gandalf the Grey, you can just go away. Um, I'll take this off just for time being. Is this just like this, a resin? Yep, just a resin base. That's like uh, the Aragorn base that they did, okay. the pre order base. We'll show you close-ups of all of his weapons and all that good stuff. His staff. <clears throat> but uh, he's a he's actually pretty pretty poseable. Um, aside from like I said the the cloth soft good boots, but they did put a hard bottom on them to help stabilize them a little bit, which is kind of nice. Um, but yeah, I mean the amount of detail that they put on the inside, the embroidering on his his pantaloonies. Uh, pretty pretty solid figure. Um, I think when he came out, his I think his price was one seventy nine for all this. Yeah, That's not a bad price. Yeah. And this thing? Yeah. Well, they're they were an up and coming toy company, and they were establishing themselves. So, but uh, well, let's see if I can 
Rip off Gandalf Snoggin. Stand by. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Headless Gandalf. Why, why are you taking this head out? I was going to show uh, the removal of the cloaks. Oh, okay. Um, so, like I said, just remove the head. Uh, you just... There's just a little string that goes around there, and then you got his extra scarf. And, uh... <laughs> So this is like a. This covers like all the movies. Yeah, this, this is covers like the Hobbit thing. And this one covers of the every the <laughs> any way you could possibly want Gandalf aside from Gandalf the White. Um, yeah, this figure covers. Like I said, uh, this is from the Hobbit to the beginning of the Fellowship to when Mine's he loses it when they're in the mines. Uh, yeah, you do articulation. Not here. Is there anything you want to add about him? I think he looks awesome. Uh, I love all the the uh, dirtiness of the robe and everything around the bottoms. You kind of—I didn't really even notice it until it was close in the light here. You kind of see the dirt through it. All the accessories are awesome. All his little belts are awesome. The stitching on the robe itself is really, really good. Just how they have the layers and how intricate the line work is on them. Even has a little hand sleeve. We don't joke around. Um, they do use kind of a, a, an odd wax when you first get them with the uh, with the rooted hair. Um, I think it was just to keep it from poofing out when you would get them in the package because that's such a headache to have to deal with. Uh, what I found worked pretty well is you just take like a small little comb and just kind of run it through, break it up a little bit. It still allows it to be move, like move and have posability without um, being poofy, which is nice because some people like their Gandalf with his hair slicked back, some people like Gandalf that uh, is ready to party and <laughs> run right in and take out some orcs. Um, looks good. Greasy Metal Earth there. Yeah. We, they didn't get to shower a whole lot. <laughs> Especially when you're out wandering, uh, wandering the ancient hills but uh, otherwise really really cool solid figure um, I feel like I've said this every time that we've reviewed a Lord of the Rings figure <laughs> but I'm like hey if you really like Lord of the Rings you should probably pick this up but can't go wrong you can't go wrong um, if you I like, said he sold out so is it like secondhand only he, now he is sold out uh, secondhand only so you might want to check eBay uh, Amazon but uh, they haven't announced it yet, but I think Asmus is planning on doing a slim Gandalf. Mm -hmm. Which, if that's the case... Whew. Yeah. Possible updated sculpt. Updated Couple sculpt. less accessories. I would take a... Uh, cheaper price. If they if they gave me a Gandalf the White... Whew. Whew. Buy him, hands down. Well, let's um, measure him while he's off the base. Yep. Gandalf Stormcrow... Comes in at uh, just under 12 inches, like a hair under 12 inches. <clears throat> but uh, very, very poseable. You can have him doing uh, numerous iconic things from the movies that you saw him doing. Um, for a long time, I had him <laughs> just simply posed, uh, actually sitting on the edge of this base, and he had his hat and smoking his pipe. Um, really, really awesome looking figure. They did a really good job. Um, We'll show you guys close-ups, but even the, the age marks and the veins in the hands, um, the weathering on his staffs to the actual, like, burn marks on his pipe. Uh, really good job. 10 out of 10, would buy again. Show you guys some articulation, and we'll go from there. So this guy, you got wrist, you got elbow, you got rotary cuff. <laughs> Uh, the head, like I said, pops off, so this the just a separate head sculpt. It's not connected through the neck. Um, he's actually not restricted too much wearing this huge onesie, but uh, he's got knee, he's got ankle, he's got ball joints in there. Um, is it? Yep, so knee, and then just hips, normal. Um, there was talk of possibly them doing Gandalf's wagon in the fireworks, so if that's the case, you know we can ride the horse! <laughs> uh, I would probably buy that. 
Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Let us know what you want us to review or if you have questions, shoot them our way. We'll do our best to get back to you. Flame of